This one, a good question. This is the uh, Pink Panther's favorite house this year. Dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. Dead end. Oh, sorry. Um, no, this house is called Dead End. Uh, it, it's a uh, very, very fun house with a lot of effects inside, and um, it was partially maybe inspired by something called the Philip Experiment. Um, for those who don't know what the Philip Experiment was, uh, in 1972 in Toronto, a group of uh, uh, poltergeist um, hunters, if you will, um, wanted to do an experiment on collective subconsciousness. And what that means is they wanted to get a bunch of people together, create a character in their mind, and see if they can conjure up this, uh, this uh, spiritual character. And they uh, had a ghost that they nicknamed Philip. And they give it a backstory, lived in a castle, and they would get together in a room and just think about uh, Philip and see if anything would manifest itself. Um, this is in a seance-like manner, and they had a table around them, and um, uh, eventually they were hearing knocks on the tables uh, in response to some questions. Uh, a couple of times the table started shaking, and as weeks went on, there was actually an incident where the table chased people uh, around the room. And some of this has actually been video recorded. So, um, was this a spirit that uh, got into these people's minds and latched on and just decided to have fun with them? Was it an actual manifestation from their collective subconsciousness? Was it a hoax? We, everybody can believe what they want to believe. But um, that whole storyline plays into what happened here in this house at the end of the street, the dead end of the street. And that street uh, is King Street, located in Cary, Ohio. And the story with this house... Uh, and involves uh, Victor and Kathleen May um, Hartford, and in 1898 they built their mansion. They had pretty much a mundane life, not much happened with them, uh, and then they passed away in 1955 and 1959, respectively. Um, the bank tried to sell their house without success, so it started to fall apart, um, come in ruins, and become decrepit, as you can see here. Um, so this became that house at the end of the street. Maybe some of you guys have had this kind of house before that uh, it's falling apart and you start to think, hey, maybe ghostly things are happening inside. So uh, around the time of the 1980s, kids would come. They would sneak in through the uh, rusty gates. Maybe drop down a jack lantern to show that they were here. And they would come out and tell a story about something that uh, happened in the house. And as time went on, the stories grew. They became exaggerated and more over the top. Uh, and so what you have here inside this house is the collective subconscious of all these kids and all their stories that have come to life. So you're going to see some really gruesome things uh, in here that the kids brought to it. Um, so we're going to go and we'll talk about some of the backstories as we go through the house. A couple things I want to point on the outside, though. Um, you will notice a lot of trees and shrubbery here. Uh, sometimes when we're doing an event like Halloween Horror Nights, um, there might be some people in the park enjoying an adult beverage. Uh, that may surprise some of you. Uh, and they might think that it's a good idea to come in here with a cigarette or uh, something like that. And, uh, of course, with shrubbery, that's not cool. So uh, we have to spray special fire retardant on all this stuff so that it won't go up in flames. Don't smoke in the house is not what I'm telling you to do. But just so you know, we have safety as a uh, very, very key um, um, a thing that we uh, have to deal with. You'll also notice uh, a stairway to go inside the house. Now, that could be a problem for our guests in wheelchairs and electric vehicles that cannot take them up the steps. So if we're going to have steps that go up into a house, we have to create an alternate path for our guests so that they can uh, enjoy the house as well. So you may ask yourself, well, why the heck even build the stairs in the first place if you're going to have to build uh, you know, an expensive old walkway? And the reason why we'll uh, build steps like this is because we have an effect that we need extra room for that will go underneath. And we're going to talk about that effect when we get to that room. So there's a really cool effect that takes up a lot of underground space, if you will. So um, we will go through the house. Uh, who's been to the Universal's House of Horrors, by the way? So you guys might, might uh, remember there's a room based on the mummy that actually has a first for Universal Studios. Uh, and that is a, a, room, uh, a hallway, actually, you have to duck to go through. So we had to build an alternate way for our wheelchair guests to go through if they can't make it through this little room that you have to duck through. It's kind of kind of creepy. It's a cool room. Um, so get any final pictures, and then we'll go inside. But then they want to last year. I don't know, Barbara was around here. There's a bookshelf uh, that was used in that house with funny books that we title ourselves, including Sith Athens and things with the uh, <laughs> names of some of our uh, art and design members who helped to create the house. Um, that bookshelf is up here too. Uh, you won't see that very much at my time. 
Now, directly below the staircase, you guys can see a little hole there, and that's a story about somebody who was uh, trapped underneath the stairs. Um, not Harry Potter, um, but uh, and they're trying to get out so you can hear audio, and uh, uh, the door will knock uh, as a little kid is trying to escape. Uh, right across the way, you can see a little curtain, and that's where we have a uh, scarecrow. Uh, it was a little kid with a burlap sack on their head uh, and a sailor outfit. Um, and that's a, uh, a homage to um, a movie called The Orphanage, which was produced by Guillermo del Toro about 10 years ago. Very, very creepy movie for like atmospheric flicks. Um, it's a uh, subtitle that's a really good movie. Have you seen it over there? So you yeah. Your head. Good movie, right? Yeah, that and Trick or Treat was cool too. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, sir.